so much for having me. As you've heard, my name is Simon Wafubwa, and I'm, I'm blessed to be in this service this morning. I am born again. I love the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior of my life. And uh, thank you for welcoming us. We had a great time yesterday. We enjoyed the service. Uh, let's also appreciate our senior pastor, uh, Reverend Ibrahim, and um, for the great job uh, ministry together with the leadership of Sita Meldoret. We love you and we appreciate what the Lord is doing in Sita Meldoret. I fellowship with uh, Sita Valley Road and that is where uh, we are members. Uh, we fellowship at uh, Sita Valley Road. Because of time, <coughs> I just uh, wanted to go straight to the uh, ministry of the Word of God, and I enjoy the worship as well. Let's give an appreciation to the worship ministry as well. It sounds like almost just continuing to sing how fun an issue, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, maybe we should try it a little bit as we get into this. Wewe ni mungu, mwe, mwe. Araka au fananishi na mungu mwingine wewe ni mungu giza bahari au fananishi na kitu kingine amen this morning, I just want to quickly share, bring to us a message entitled, There is Hope. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor there is hope. The Bible says there is hope in the land of the living, isn't it? Yeah, and um, I just came to realize that uh, in a world full of hope, the fastest Cheaply selling commodities, hope. And people are buying it from everywhere. They are buying it from the politicians. They are buying it from wherever. Whoever that can actually package hope and sell it to a hopeless person, they will buy. And um, unfortunately, some hope is still hopeless, but people are still buying it. And I have good news this morning that we have a living hope in Christ Jesus. That is the only hope that is alive. Every other hope that we, we buy, <laughs> it is dead hope. So I just wanted us to have some moment of reflection around that. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, this is a famous scripture. The Bible says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil. To give you a hope, a future, and a hope. The Lord has good plans for you. I don't know what plans you have. Sometimes the husbands have their plans. When they are marrying uh, their wives, they will tell them, my plans is to take you every year for holiday in Miami. <laughs> and those plans don't happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> but we thank God this morning he has uh, his plans. He is declaring in his word that his plans for us, even for Kenya, the plans that he has for us is to give us a hope and a future. He has good plans for us, even for marriages, even for the youth. The Lord has a good plans for us, plans for a hope and a future, even for Sitam Eldoret. The plans that the Lord has for us are good plans. Plans for a future and a hope. Hallelujah. In the, in the book of 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 4, He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance that is imperishable, undivided and unfading, kept in heaven for you. And so we have a living hope in Christ Jesus. In far, hallelujah, we have a living hope in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Lamentations chapter 3, verse 21 to 23, but this I call to mind, 
Therefore, I have hope that the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never comes to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Because of the steadfast love of God, his mercies are new every morning. And so it doesn't matter the disappointments of yesterday. Every morning is a new day. Is loaded with new masses. You can walk into the gates of the new day with your head lifted high, knowing very well that he who created you, he has embro- he has written your name in the palms of his hand. He is watching over you. He never sleeps nor slumbers. He is watching over your children. He is watching over your family. He is watching over our nation, Kenya. And because he liveth, hallelujah, hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, my redeemer liveth. Hallelujah. And because your redeemer is alive, he will, hallelujah. In the book of Job, chapter, chapter 19, verse Verse 25, if you can project it, if you can put it on the screen, and someone can quickly put it on the screen, I can, I can just look through that. Hallelujah. I have already gotten it. Job chapter 19, verse 25. For I know that my Redeemer lives. Hallelujah. And it's a season, a time has come to declare to those children that are wayward and speak to their destiny, and speak to their alcoholism situation, and speak to that financial, and also speak to your wallet. Hallelujah. And declare to your wallet, for I know my Redeemer is alive. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and he shall stand at last on the earth. And after my skin is destroyed, this I know, that in my flesh I will see God, who I, whom sh- I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold and not another. Other versions say, my own eyes will see and not another. Hallelujah. And my own eyes shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. My own eyes and not another. Hallelujah. And my own eyes shall see the goodness of the Lord in my marriage. And my own eyes shall see the goodness of the Lord in my family. And my own eyes shall see the goodness of the Lord in my career. And my own eyes shall see the goodness of the Lord in my ministry. For I know my Redeemer liveth. Shout hallelujah. My Redeemer liveth even in this nation. And so there is hope in the land of the living because we know that our Redeemer is alive. He is not dead. He is risen. He is alive. He is seated on the right hand of our Father in heaven. He is making intercessions on our behalf before our Father in heaven. So there is, there is hope in the land of the living. I don't know where you are this morning. You could be in the valley of the dry bones. And the good news is if you are in the valley, the only other place to go is up. Where else can you go? When you are in the valley, where else can you go? It's only up. Hallelujah. In the valley of the dry bones, Ezekiel 37, verse 11 to 14. There is hope, hallelujah, even for the businesses in the valley of the dry bones. In in Ezekiel 37, then he said to me, son of man, these bones represent the people of Israel. They are saying, we have become old, dry bones. All our hope is gone. All our hope is gone. Hallelujah, our nation is finished. Therefore prophesy to them and say, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Oh, my people, I will open your graves from exile and cause you to rise again. Then I will bring you back to your land, O Israel. When this happens, O my people, you will know that I am the Lord. I will put my spirit in you and you will live again. You will live again. 
I don't know what died in your life, but this morning, and the Bible says, and the Spirit of, and the Lord breathed into man, and he became a living being. Hallelujah. And we declare life in every death situation this morning. Arise. Hallelujah. Every spirit of death, every deadness. Hallelujah. Every spirit of death, over careers, over businesses. We are calling those businesses out of spiritual grace. Hallelujah. We declare the power of resurrection. And the Bible says the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the grave. Hallelujah. Is able to minister strength in us. To raise us out of, out of every death situation. Ministering life in our mortal bodies. And let the, every dream that was buried and filed away because of COVID. We are declaring life by the spirit of the living God over those dreams in the mighty name of Jesus. We are speaking life to those dreams in the mighty name of Jesus. The power of resurrection by the might and power of the spirit of the living God. Come back to life again in Jesus' name. And let the hallelujah and every spiritual stone on those spiritual grace be rolled away. Be rolled away this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, every spiritual stone on the spiritual grace over those careers, over those ministries, over those spiritual wells. Let those stones be rolled away. We declare rise, a season to arise and shine. Hallelujah. For your light has come. There is hope for the barren. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rama senderebo koyandarabo. There is hope for the barren. There is hope for the barren. And so the Bible says this morning, Isaiah 54. Hallelujah. Sing, O barren. Sing. <laughs> Sing, O barren. You who have not born. Break forth into singing and cry aloud. You who have not labored with a child. And so today there was baby dedication and hallelujah. And this is a rema word here for someone. And the Lord remembered who? And the Lord remembered Re Rachel, isn't it? And he healed her womb. Hallelujah. And Rachel was able to conceive. Hallelujah. And such a time like this next year, you will be dedicating your child here. Harama Senderebo. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I declare healing unto the barrenness. In the barrenness, economic barrenness, healing. In the name of Jesus, in the economic spiritual womb, healing in the mighty name of Jesus. And so the Bible says, for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married women. Hallelujah, says the Lord. And so enlarge the place of your tent. And so you exercise faith. You who have no, you who have no children, go and, babe and buy the children. What are they called, mom? Help me. What are they? Those things that carry the children. What? The napkins. Go and buy them today. Go and buy them today. That is how how faith work and now faith is a substance of things hoped for is the title deed is the evidence hallelujah hallelujah and so in like the place of your tent and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwelling. Do not spare. Lengthen your gates. You lengthen your course and strengthen your stakes. For you will expand to the right, which means limitations are cut off. And to the left you will expand. Hallelujah. And your descendants will inherit the nations. Hallelujah. And make the desolate cities inhabited. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed, neither be dis disgraced, for you will not be put to shame. Hallelujah. For you will forget the shame of your youth, and you will not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore. For your maker is your husband. The Lord of hosts is, is his name. And your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. He is called the God of the 
entire world. Hallelujah. For the Lord has called you like a woman forsaken and grieved. Hallelujah. And verse 7 says, For a mere moment I have forsaken you, but with great mercies I will gather you. Hallelujah. With a little wrath I, ha I hid my face from you for a moment, but with everlasting kindness I will have mercy on you, says the Lord to a Redeemer, for you are Redeemer, Lither. For you are Redeemer. If you understood, agree with the word of God and shout Amen. Hallelujah. And you, did you know that you cannot outsource a man? You cannot. A man is a personal responsibility. Hallelujah. Because where two or three shall agree, it is settled. And how you agree with the word of God is to say, I agree. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the mountain shall depart and the hills be removed. But my kindness shall not depart from you. No, my, shall my covenant of peace be removed, be removed, says the Lord, who has mercy on you. Oh, you afflicted, tossed and with tempest, and not comforted, behold, I will lay your stones with colorful gems. There is hope. You know the strategy of the devil is to deflate us of hope. If hope, if, if you who is the carrier of destiny is like a car. You could be so anointed, which, is, which means you have fuel in the car. But you see, hope is like the pressure on the tires of the car. What the devil does is he wants to puncture. <laughs> so he punctures with the cares of this world. And once it is punctured, you may be carrying huge potential. You have even the anointing. You are full of the anointing. But when there is no hope, there is no faith. Where there is no hope, where there is hopelessness, there is hopelessness and the spirit of unbeliever cousins. They go hand in hand. And where there is a spirit of unbelief, there is little miracles. Hallelujah. And so we need hope. And that's why we have received the spirit of hope. The Holy Spirit of God is a spirit of hope. Where there is hope, there is faith. Hallelujah. And when we have hope, we continue to run. We don't grow weary. We continue to walk. We don't grow weary. We mount up with wings like eagles. Hallelujah. Because we have a living hope in us. Tell your neighbor, I have a living hope in me. For the children, for the parents who have been crying. Because the children are, you are children, you raise them in Sunday school. You raise them in the ways of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the children are now in drug addiction. And the children now, hallelujah, harama senderebo, hallelujah. And the children are now in alcoholism. I have good news in the word of God this morning. For the children of the Lord, the righteous, shall be mighty in the land. Hallelujah, there is hope. And so we are declaring this morning in the promise of the word of God, every thirst for alcoholism in those children, we are declaring that thirst. We are drying it up now. The spiritual wells of alcoholism, the yokes of bondage, harama senderebo, are broken in the mighty name of Jesus. The spiritual soul ties of drug addiction, we are breaking them now. We are delicting. Hallelujah. We are deleting the words of enchantment to their minds by the blood of Jesus Christ. And when they, and when they, and, uh, and when the prodigal son came back to his senses, he went back to the father. You are not getting it. When, hallelujah, when the prodigal son came back to his senses, he went back to the father. When, he, when, he, when his spiritual senses of sight came back to senses, he saw the way and went back to the father. When his sense of taste was restored, he tasted the word of God. It was sweet as honey. He went back to the father. Rebel, send the rebel, call the rebel. And when when he went back to the father, he benefited from the right of heritage of the father. Hallelujah. And the 
the children are coming back. They are coming back. Hallelujah. They are coming back. Hallelujah, they are coming back. They are coming back. They will be leading worship here. They will be leading in the session here. They will be leading. And when the prodigal son came back to the senses, he went back to the father. They went back to the father. And so there is hope. There is hope in the land of the living. Psalms 27, verse 13 and 14. I will have lost hope had I not believed that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. There is hope for your marriage. Hallelujah. Because today we are declaring the Prince of Peace in that marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus, every demonic spirit of anger in that marriage, we declare, leave that home this moment. We declare the shalom of the living God over that family. The peace of God in the heart of the husband, in the wife, the peace of God. There is hope. For my Redeemer liveth. I don't know about, <laughs> about your Redeemer. <laughs> At least for mine, I know <laughs> he is alive. There is hope for the youth. Even those who are hopeless, they have tarmacked. They have finished even looking for jobs, applications. You know, I started that we were the first people who uh, were enrolled for actuarial. And that was uh, some form of mathematics that uh, calculates how is the likely, what is the likelihood of someone going to be with their father, whichever way, <laughs> uh, guided by the behavior and other things. And then we price, <laughs> we, we actually make a business out of it. So, because we are the first, we were told that uh, Akshurio will, is selling like hot cake. Jobs will be looking for you, like goodness and mercy looking for you. <laughs> so I was told that the starting pra, uh, salary is around 800,000. So you can imagine, by the time we are finishing uh, university, I already had budgeted. By then, uh, the, the, the Toyota Corolla used to be around 500,000. So I already, like in month one, I have a car, I have a good house, I have everything that anyone actually would, <laughs> would wish to have. And then wait. What I went through, I found myself with no job for quite a while. I used to walk to town, walking like 20 kilometers, looking for a job. And you know when you have trekked for 20 kilometers, when you get to the reception, as you, they, uh, the quality of the smell of the sweat <laughs> is terrible. They just tell you, wake up, tutakuita, CV, wake up. Then you walk back. And that time I was sleeping on cartons. No job. And there was a guy who was running a small kiosk, Chapati Mandondo. He told me, you know, jobs are not there. So just pick this one. Let me employ you. <laughs> Let me employ you. You'll be cutting uh, Chapati and serving the Watuam Jengo. But you know, even in suffering, suffer with knowledge of your rights. <laughs> I knew that this is not for me. Praise God. Yeah. So you don't have to exchange your destiny on a bowl of soup. Praise God. So I told him that's not for me. However, I am happy to help you, but not for pay. Because that's not for me. I know that's not for me. Praise God. And sleeping on the cartons. Cooking, you know, like there was no even cooking stick. I was cooking. I realized, that's the time I realized that when you try to cook ugali with a spoon, it doesn't work. It falls because of the, the heat. 
Then I was unwell. For almost three years, I was sick, pain all over in my body. And of course, the expectations of the society are very high after high school and university. And see, like, why is he not marrying quickly and starting to help us? That is another source of pressure as well. In fact, some thought I had, and this is not for it, this is not to talk any uh, in a way that is demeaning to anyone in this situation. Uh, some actually thought I had HIV. So I went and tested three times, but I knew how I worked. Now, why I'm sharing this story is that while in that state, some five years ago, I was walking towards uh, the library and I had heard clearly the voice speaking to me and say, Simon, I'll raise you to greatness. I looked around, I didn't see the person who was speaking to me. Around that time, we used to give, I used to use part of my higher education loans to pay school fees for the orphans. Every Sunday, we used to fast and pray for ministry in campus and do a lot of intercession. So around that time, I used to fast and pray and say, God, is this how you pay those who serve you? Is this how you repay those who serve you? So what happened? I had cried and cried and cried. Sick, no job. One day, tired of the situation, I actually had five shillings. I walked to a nearby shop to buy rat and rat and do away with my life. And as I get into the shop to buy rat and rat, it did happen that there was inflation. The price of rat and rat had gone up by 50 cents. <laughs> Some, sometimes inflation can save lives. It depends with which side you are at. As I was walking back, there was a weekend challenge in the nearby church. And the preacher was preaching and saying, there is hope in the land of the living. <laughs> Even a live dog is better than a dead lion. And here I am. So after that, I went to Arboretum. And that morning, I lay flat on the grass I was crying and thanking God for the pain. I was crying and thanking God for the pain. When everyone else is complaining, enter his gates with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Enter his gates of healing with thanksgiving. Enter his gates of job provision with thanksgiving. Enter his gates of your miracle with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. So I cried and thanking God for the pain instead of, <laughs> I, 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 I told myself this can't be for free. You can't take me through this kind of pain for free. Yes, because I know you don't waste pain. Hallelujah. You don't waste pain. Although he breaks me, he will do what? He will, he will bind me. He will restore me. Hallelujah. Long story short, as I woke up, at, I get into sleep. At around two, I was woken up with a call. And the call, it did happen that it, there was my former lecturer and they were in the same tattoo with a friend of mine. And it happened that while I was giving thanks, God caused them to come together. And the lecturer was asking, do you have the names, the, the conducts of Simon? And at that point, I had a very tall, this, you know, Ericsson, the long thing that, that had the area. And the reception was not very as good. Let me help someone here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The dropping of the angels. Hallelujah. When you, <laughs> they keep asking, who is that thanking us, even in pain? They say, please, please go faster, faster, and attend to him. 
Hallelujah. So long story short, they called me and said, do you have a job? I said no. And then he said, come and see me on Monday. And that is a job, that is a door that ushered me to the career that I do up to now 20 years ago. How about you change your language? Instead of complaining, because the things you complain about will complain about you and go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The grace of peace dwells in the presence of God. Hallelujah. In the dimension of thanksgiving. Because the power of life and death is in the tongue. Hallelujah. Whether just today tell your neighbor, tell, tell yourself that I am going, I, I make a resolve to be a person of gratitude. One of the things that the Lord testifies about David as a man after his own heart, I believe was because David was a thanksgiver. He was not writing the book of Lamentations. Even when he writes Lamentations in the Psalms, he always ends up with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. He always ends up with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. You know when you keep complaining, when you keep saying Niko tu, Mungu amenitupa, ameniacha, you are inviting demons of Ukotu, and they will come in plenty. When you keep on saying tunangangana, they will come in plenty. Hallelujah. And so even in your ringtone, change your ringtone and put the song of praise. That's why the Bible says sing. Hallelujah. Oh, you who have no pa, who have not labored with a child, sing, O oh, barren woman. And sometimes our HROs, myself, sometimes will make calls to call to people you are inviting them for interviews. And then you get a ringtone like, woo wee, woo wee, and that's a ringtone. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Hallelujah. We have hope. We have hope. If I were you, I would be dancing. I will be shouting. I will be declaring in my season. This is a new season. And I sense it after all. I sense it after all. <laughs> it's a new season. Yeah. And so in that season... When we were going through, I was going through that season. I used to sing Ebenezer will make a way. Where there seems to be no way. I used to sing that. I used to sing that. And they overcame by the blood of the lamb and the word of the testimony. What is this word of the testimony? It's the word of God. So you declare it even so that the devil gets to know that this is what you stand for and this is what <laughs> you are for. Hallelujah. And so the season changed. There is hope. There is hope. I want to read even there is hope for the sick here. By the way, there are the sick, the sick are going to be, they are, they are going to get back to, 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 there will be, God is healing them. God is healing them. There is hope even for the sick. Jeremiah chapter 33. And if you have a sick person here, go and declare this in your house where the spirit of infirmity has continued to drain your economic resources. Declare this word. Behold, I will bring it. I will bring. Hallelujah. Uh, let me start from verse, um, verse 3. And call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the house of this city of Eldoret and the house of the kings of Judah, which have been pulled down for, to, to fortify against the siege mounts and the sword. They come to fight with the Chaldeans but only to fill their places with the dead bodies of men whom I will slay in my anger and my fury all 
are all for whose wickedness I have hidden my face from the, the city. Behold, I will bring it health and healing. Behold, I will bring it health and healing. I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. Behold, I will bring them. Hallelujah. Healing. Hallelujah. And I will cause the captives of Judah and the captives of Israel to return. And I will, and will rebuild those places as it as at the first. I will cleanse them from all their iniquity by whom, by which they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their iniquities by which they have sinned and by which they have transgressed against me. Then it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise, and an honor before all nations of the earth. Whom shall hear all the good that I do to them? They shall fear and tremble for my good, for the goodness and all the prosperity that I provide for it. There is hope even for the sick. Hallelujah. There is hope for the sick. And so as I conclude, as I conclude, the Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Every season has a deadline. I need you to know that every season of joblessness has a deadline. Hallelujah. Even in captivity, the Lord had to remember them. Even in captivity, the deadline, even when they had passed the deadline in captivity, they, God had to uh, orchestrate the seasons to come to an end because of the covenant of his mercy. Hallelujah. And so there is hope. There is hope even for the joblessness. They are, their title is changing. They will no longer, every joy morning may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. When joy comes in the morning, which means you will put on your dress in the morning and go to work, hallelujah, because joy has come in the morning, hallelujah. When the joy comes in the morning, and, and you remember, I have, I have forgotten the scripture that the Lord ministered to us, and the time to remember has come. The set time of remembrance has come. Hallelujah. And the set time, if you can, I don't know if we can get it and project it there. And the set time of remembrance in the season of God's remembrance. Hallelujah. In the season of God's remembrance, he causes his glory to shine over you. And that is the time for you. Is the spiritual season and dispensation of you to arise and shine hallelujah and so as i end as i end i want to declare the word of god over your life and over your families and over your businesses this morning sit am eldoret arise and shine isaiah 60 arise and shine for your light has come where darkness was, hallelujah, where darkness was prevailing, there is, we declare the light of the Lamb of God, and we know wherever light is, light must overcome darkness, hallelujah, because light is superior. In the name of Jesus Christ, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will rise over you, and his glory will be seen over you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the gender shall come to your light, and the king to the brightness of your rising. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare this word. In the spiritual gates of this nation, in the spiritual gates of this city, in the mighty name of Jesus, look around, lift your eyes all around and see. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from afar and your daughter shall be nursed at your side. And when the Bible says, look around and see, the problem often is we look, we don't see. There is a difference between looking and seeing. Seeing is discernment. 
And that's why the Bible says, call unto me and I will show you things that you have not seen. Hallelujah. And God told Abraham, as far as you can see. That was discernment. He didn't say as far as you can look. There is a dimension of seeing in terms of discernment. Seeing beyond the opportunity of in the physical dimension. Seeing the opportunities beyond the challenges. When you are going through challenges, you need to see what is the opportunity of God's glory. Hallelujah. In the challenge. And one of the miracles that God can do in our life is a miracle of restoration of sight. Hallelujah. The problem in this world is that we don't have, it's not that we don't have, uh, uh, we don't have resources. Resources are not scarce. It's only resourceful minds. Hallelujah. That are scarce. It's only resourceful minds that are scarce. We have plenty of money. Tell your neighbor, Pesa Iko. Hallelujah. Because our father owns the entire world. And the, hallelujah. A thousand cows on the hills belong to our father. And so he can give a portion of them, even just a hundred daily ones. Hallelujah to you in the name of Jesus Christ. We don't have people who discern opportunities. And the sons of Isaac, they understood the times. That was discernment. And they knew what Israel should do. When you don't know what Israel should do in the spiritual dispensation of the spiritual time zones, you miss out on the opportunity. You miss out on the grace of the season because every season has a grace for the reason so that you can express yourself, the glory of the Lord upon you as a as the ox of righteousness for the display of his glory, for the splendor of his glory, even in the marketplace. This is a season to arise and shine. When COVID happened, and everyone was afraid, me too, I was afraid. And so I was in season of fasting and praying, and I heard in my spirit, why are you responding to COVID? Like the people of the world. And I ask how? I say the people of the world are responding by fear. You are meant to respond by faith. Because faith guards you. Faith, hallelujah, quenches every fiery dart that come your way. When you have the shield of faith. Because faith is a shield. Hallelujah. And so I ask myself, how is the world responding? They were retrenching. They were reducing salaries. And they were cutting back. What we did is we went back to our boat. We increased salaries for our staff. Hallelujah. We, we prepared more tables. Hallelujah. Because when there is a casting down, we understood for us, we are rising. Because the glory of the Lord rises over us. Though we are in the world, we are not of this world. We don't function with the economic systems of this world. Hallelujah. And if the Lord be on our side, who can be against us? And so we told ourselves, we created more workstation. We even opened some new departments. And we told ourselves, when other people are praying for more jobs, we might be the channels of their prayers being answered. Hallelujah. And truth be told, we ended up buying a property of value of almost 250 million during COVID. Even in COVID season, he is still on the throne. Hallelujah. And he has the final say. I came to announce to someone here. It doesn't matter. Hallelujah. What they spoke to your life. You don't have to outsource the destiny. Hallelujah. Of your future. To the words of what people spoke to your life. Hallelujah. He has the final say. He has the final say. He has a final say. Even in the U.S., whatsoever that was written about a portion, he still had the final say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, my Jehovah, my Redeemer, 
has a final say about this land issue, about this court issue. He has a final say. Hallelujah. About this marriage situation with the in-laws. Hallelujah. He has a final say. He has a final say. And I want to encourage someone. And we overcame by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. And love conquers everything. So don't hate them. They are not wicked people. They are carrying maybe some bad things in them. But the Bible tells us, hallelujah, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, rulers, and powers of darkness. That is where you are to take your spiritual warfare. And once you sort it there, and he puts a rubber stamp of the final say, everything will be in place. Let's be upstanding. I would like you to give, raise your hand. If you can speak in tongues, please go ahead. And in that situation, I sense the presence of God. Hallelujah. I sense the grace of freedom. Harama can send the rebel. Rebo koyandarama kayandarama kayanderebo. Rebo koyandarama in that situation. Hallelujah. Just pray with me. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I acknowledge this morning. My help is in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. My help is in the name of the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. And so this morning, I surrender to you. I yield to you. I lift my family members to you. My job situation to you. My business situation to you. My marriage situation to you. The situation in my ministry to you. The situation in my nation to you. The situation in my career to you. You are the Lord who I confess this morning. My Redeemer is alive. Hallelujah. And so I receive the grace of victory. This morning as I walk out of this service, I declare I am more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. I declare in the east, I am more than a conqueror. I declare in the west, I am more than a conqueror. I declare in the south, I am more than a conqueror. I declare in the north, I am more than a conqueror. And I walk in the grace, hallelujah, of more than victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. Give a shout offering to the Lamb of God.